and all of that good stuff, hit me up. I do read the comments, so leave the comments below and give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Patty Jackson. I am your auntie of pop culture. Dragons will rule the Seven Kingdoms for the next hundred years. Everything that House Targaryen possesses is owed to it. They're restless and chaotic. Without them, they dislike everyone else. This fighting must cease! Dragon Seven is one thing. Hey, YouTube family, it's Double! Is that the case? Hi, y'all. I got cut off this morning, I think because of the music that was in the trailer that I posted. I think maybe because, and then after that I got busy. I had to go interview Miguel Nunez. <laughs> I had to go interview Miguel. He was looking like a whole snack right here. Mm -hmm. So that interview will be coming out on Vlad. This what I'm eating. So this morning what I had was a piece of salmon and a couple of potato wedges and two scrambled eggs. Well, this is more salmon. This is a wheat bagel with um, Philadelphia cream cheese. But it's the kind with some chives in it, I think. Yeah, chive and onion, chive and onion cream cheese, and then some capers and some alfalfa sprouts and some onion and some tomato and I almost put some and and some cucumber and I almost put some avocado on it, but I don't think it's quite ready, so I passed on it. I always get this when I go to Einstein's and those big old places. I said, shit, I can make that at home. Mm -hmm. With some slap your mama on it. Yeah. <laughs> Miguel was very funny at my backyard booking. I'm having a backyard remodel. I'll be doing something out there before the end of the summer. Hi, Juliana. Well, I have to send you a couple of pieces of my backyard and what I'm doing. And Juliana is my bagel partner. We be fucking this up. Okay, so I want to talk about a couple of things, guys.
Beehive, get ready. Because I want to talk about Renaissance. First of all, don't get it fucked up. My daughter will tolerate no disrespect to the Queen Bee. She is the president of the West Coast chapter of the Beehive, so she says, Thank you, sweet Kate. And my niece, Mika, as well. Um, I personally have never been to a Beyonce concert, but I've always managed to scrape up the money to send my daughter, right? Now, when I grew up, I was dancing in the clubs in the 70s when people used to actually dance together with each other and have fun. There was a disco era, disco. But also, I was doing theater in San Francisco and I had a lot of gay friends. I have a lot of gay friends that passed away. I lived through the whole AIDS epidemic. This corona is not the first epidemic I've lived through. Lost a lot of friends. Learned a lot, though. Learned how to do makeup. Learned a lot. Learned about the balls. Learned all that. And when I was twirling in San Francisco with my gay friends back in the 70s and 80s, the music was very popping, very exciting made you want to get out your car at the red light and dance. Well, Beyonce has done that again. <laughs> I don't give a fuck who say they don't like it. But I ain't heard nobody say that. But this album is clearly... Dedicated to the club kids, her fan base, the children, T, the family, however you want to say it. Baby, if they haven't already, these dogs are about to go wild. Prepare to be sick of them, honey. Every song on there speaks to the kids. The harmonies, the beat, the inflections, the words, the lyrics. Yep. And I know that it may not be everybody's taste. And yeah, the album is for, you know, for them. And so what? When's the last time somebody put out an album for the kids? Shit. Since Sylvester, the motherfucker is fire. My favorites, of course, Break My Soul is going to break all the records. You can fucking forget about it. Grammys, Beyonce, 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 song of the year, Beyonce, Break My Soul. You can already go and put that, write that one down because that's what's going to happen. Got another cut on there called uh, Move. Mm -hmm. Move, 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 move. It's no coincidence that Big Frida is on Break My Soul and enhances it. And it. I want to see Big Frida make some special appearances on the Beyonce concert tour, which, by the way, is inevitable. Honey, plastic on the sofa, something like that. 
I'm fine. Yeah, I do smashed. But, you know, it's my page, so. I can kind of, I think most of the people already know about me. And this shit is very, very, very lively, very fine. Make you want to dance again. Don't we wish we could dance again? You, some of you girls will never experience the joy of slow dancing with a man on the dance floor. That ain't what this is, but I'm just saying. Mm. Pretty lively. It's just a bagel, guys. A bagel with salmon and cream cheese and capers and shit. I put up that um, trailer for that movie that never gonna get finished. Unfortunately. But I'm glad you guys enjoyed the trailer. America has a problem. Right. I'm a Jamaican guy on there too. Oh, them slow drags. They don't, they'll never know. They'll never fucking know. Because they're not going to go back to slow dancing. And that is a motherfucking channel. <laughs> I carry knocks. What is capers? Capers are like little pickles. I don't have them all. I come in, y'all like the capers. They're like little pickled peas that you put on certain things or in pasta or whatever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm, read what you tell. Mm-hmm. Dip your own flow. Mm-hmm. So anyway. I'm eating this snack. And it now starts my fucking weekend. I came home from my family reunion on Monday. Hit the ground, been running ever since until just right now. So right now is my Friday afternoon. <laughs> M.M. Nope. I chew with my mouth open sometimes and that's just the way it is. Act season three for sure. I didn't lose anybody. You guys are mistaken a family reunion shirt with our mother and father on it like we lost them. We lost them, but years and years and years ago. Thank you. Diddy was on with Mary J the other day talking about R&B coming back too. Uh-oh, y'all going at it with each other a little bit. Thank you. I had a great time in my reunion. <laughs> I just saw Dolce she out her mama house. Her mama missed her terribly while we was on at the reunion. So they do it in quality time. Yeah, that's good that he's doing these things. He had Mary J. Who did he have today? I'm sorry you got COVID, honey. What's up, part-time little chick? Love you, too. Yeah, they did, but I got to shoot video anyway. Oh! There'll never be.
Who was Diddy's guest today? Anybody? Thank you. Oh, Summer Walker. <laughs> mm -hmm. I might lay down and look at that interview. He seems to keep it very honest in this interview. I liked him with Old City Girl. Oh, Carissa. He gave her a bag, didn't he? A whole show and money and... When he's intrigued, you can have whatever you like when he's intrigued with you. Oh, thank you for that. That's all the guests. Yeah, we did have our own parade. Oh, honey, you didn't say that. Yes, I've done Just for Laughs in Canada. I'd be glad to go back whenever they'll have me. I love that. I sure did. I got to perform with the crazy. Rest in peace, my friend Gilbert Gottfried out in Canada at the Just for Laughs uh, festival, baby. I got I got some deals out of that festival. I don't know. We need a Puerto Rican Day Parade for sure. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Kevin. I know. Now, that's what Beyonce was saying. My daughter said Beyonce was saying that nobody's making a body of work anymore. They make an EP or they make a or at least a single, or, but not like 15, 16 songs where you can just put it on and let it play. Mm hmm. Yep, the Corvettes were there. Yo, yo, you ain't missing them. We just chatting. Beyonce Giselle knows Carter. Hi, Arzo. Mm -hmm. That bagel was so good. Mm -hmm. Later, since it's my Friday night, I think I'll have some pot stickers that I make myself with the chili sauce. Mm mm mm. Sweet chili. Sweet chili sauce. You guys, I literally had nothing important to say except that I don't have to work no more this week. I was invited to a celebrity baseball game on Sunday. I sort of wanted to cook something. I ain't cooked nothing in the longest. I'm definitely not since Shea been gone. Maybe two things. And I wanted to cook something for my daughter, Nim. And I wanted to just lay around. And I got to find out if church is back, it's open. At West Angeles, I think it is. And then I have a, sick, a friend who's healing. I might would have went to go see. That's kind of far out. Because I really want to spend this weekend at the house because next weekend I'm down there with Patty Jackson I'm in Philadelphia Freedom I love uh, uh. yes I do let me see if I can find a flyer which I should be posting anyway next weekend my sandwich was a bagel with salmon and cream cheese and stuff like that
Philadelphia flyer. And I will be posting it. Oh, I know what else I was going to tell y'all. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, that's New York. That's New York. Because after Philly is New York, September. Philadelphia, Philadelphia, where are you? No, not that one. Anybody out there live in Philly? Get you a movie to watch. Go on BET and watch Block Party. Block Party on BET. Go on there. You'll have a great time. Plus, you'll see me. Oh, Lord. How'd I lose my flyer? Everything says New York, but where's the Philadelphia flyer? In any event, I will be in Philly next weekend. I get this weekend off. How often do you ever hear me say that? Not that often. No. Sherry's show starts on the 12th. Sherry Shepard. Here it is. Y'all remember that? Original bad girl. Philadelphia. Five shows, okay? At Helium. Helium Comedy Club in Philly, y'all. That's where I'll be next weekend. I'll be, uh, yeah, Beats by Billiam. I'll be posting this. I'll probably do it sometime tonight. At Helium via Zapata. Hi, Jessica Rabbit. Long time no see. No, my manager, William, we call him, a.k.a. Billiam, Papa Lee, has Papa Lee music, and he actually does the theme music. Plays the instruments, wrote the lyrics, sings the song. Yeah, helium is nice, right? Yeah, I'm going to rest this weekend, baby. Oh, yes. I actually just got my hair cut a little bit. You'll see it. Next Backyard Boogie, Live Music Fan 2020, we getting ready for it. Because I'm blinging up my backyard. Let me find out where Ladybug is. Y'all remember Ladybug? Because I need her to do something. Let's see if she answers. We might even have a ladybug reveal party at my next backyard boogie. Y'all can finally meet ladybug. I don't know where she's at. You know, these kids. Hey, bug. Come and give me a call when you can. Period. Muy importante. It didn't come out right. It said movie importante. <laughs> M-U-Y. Okay. Mm-hmm. Bacon and salak for everything. But you gotta add onions too. What you mean, Vanessa? 
You have to eat everything green. I can't eat everything green, baby. I can't, not everything. I'm not a rabbit. I'm a grown old black woman. And I just try to do better. I try to do better in the health department, but I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that. We're supposed to have an operation, you guys. I think I'm supposed to have it on the 23rd, which would be next week. I don't know. What do you need an operation on, Lunel? Oh, my God. On my hand. There's some pain in this little right up in here. And I have a little couple tunnels, so... That might be what they're doing. I'm not sure. Then I don't know who's going to help me get dressed for my shows next week. M.M., that might be you. So I'm in Youngstown. Thank you. Oh, yes, honey. We had a very large turnout for the family reunion. I thought you guys had seen some of the pictures. Yeah, trigger finger. Girl, it looked painful. Well, yeah, there's organic and there's organic, you know? Some of the people that say it's organic be lying. Yeah, I did cookie. Notice that's the joints, knees, and but ain't nothing wrong with this thing I'm sitting on. I tell you that. So you guys saw the pictures like these are me and my brothers and sisters. Roger and Chester and Larry and Harry and me and Sis and Sherry. Uh-oh. Why is it going blurry? You know, there's something on my phone. I don't know what it is. It's making everything like some portrait mode, right? Look. And then back there, it's blurry. What that mean? When am I coming to Arkansas? Kenrick, I just came home Monday, baby. You are late, late, late on the late freight. Late, late, late. See, why does everything get blurry? I don't know. I don't know what this setting is. You know, they're not twins. We don't have no twins in my immediately sibling family. There's eight of us, though, I'll tell you that. And ooh, honey, I wish you could see this other thing without it going blurry. Lord of mercy. Wait, why is that on there? This is not working, gang. <laughs> To the fish. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm doing video. Cooking outside. See that? Cooking outside. Yeah, good job. Little tacos and shit. 
It was very country, very wonderful. It was very, very great to go. It was the truth. It was the truth. Now you're right. Uh, yeah, Melissa, we do all look alike. Yeah, and I have seen black men in Cadillacs. I've seen black men in Bentleys. I've seen black men on Harleys. I've seen black men doing a lot of things, but baby, they ain't nothing sexier to me, for real. When you get right down to it, than a black man on a horse. Oh, to see a man master that animal. And I'm going to tell you what else I've seen in Arkansas. Them kids is riding horses bareback child at five, six years old. And I've seen a brother riding a horse, riding it fast, backwards. He was facing the tail, and the horse's head was behind him, and they was riding. Now that, that was some shit. Yeah, man said in that it was. Yeah, get it up, cowboy. <laughs> Today is my fucking Friday. Oh my God. I'm at home. Mm. This time last week, I was in Arkansas. I deserve to be. For somebody as fly as me. Somebody that's fly. And you deserve to be seen. For somebody as fly as you. Somebody that's fly. Right? No, I just said I wasn't working this weekend. I just said that I get this is my Friday, I get it off. Yeah. Okay, M. Say that's a good thing. Proud of you. Okay, but let's not cloud up my timeline with all that beautiful, helpful information. Because first of all, ain't nobody reading it because it's going by too fast. There's 391 people on here. So just calm yourself down, honey, and slide into folks' DM if you really want them to have your information. Or, what's up, Birmingham? I see you. It's cool. It's just that we can't, I can't receive all the information that you're doing. It's, you know, it's 391 people on here right now. I'm trying to read a little bit of everything. Goddess says she's sick of this shit anyway. Ooh. So, I don't know what to eat next. I might eat a kiwi. Now, I got these things called, these are these new kiwis that, that my, my Mexican new hire chick, Ileana, told me about. But she's, I don't know. And they're awesome. And you're supposed to cut them open. Maybe I'll do one. So I can show y'all about these kiwi. I just want what's fair. Do, 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 do. The end desire of baby. I deserve to be for somebody as fly as me. Okay, I need a spoon. I got a knife. I'm gonna turn you guys on to this new kiwi. For those of you who say I'm eating fruit and vegetables, what do you know about this? And I'll need somebody to hit me and tell me how to get this portrait mode thing off of here too. It's cute for me. But I know that y'all like to see what's going on in the background and stuff like that. Okay, you eat two kiwis every morning? Well, you're good. I don't do nothing every morning. These are called sun gold kiwi. Here's the kiwi. Okay. I'm going to show you what's up with these.
First, you got to break into the motherfucking thing. How do I get in there? That is a oh. Okay. So this is the sun gold kiwi, okay? Take the little label off, although it does not matter whether you wash it or not, even though you should always wash your fruit. But I ain't washing this because it's the inside that we're fooling with. So you cut it open, right? It looks like this inside. You just get a spoon and you start scooping that bitch out. Mm -mm. Mm. It sort of tastes like a juicy, 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 juicy pear. Mm. Making my toes go up and down on the floor. I'm not eating the skin, though. No. Somebody said you can eat skin. I don't eat nothing with no hair on it. Take that any way you want to. Peaches. Nothing with hair on it. <laughs> mm -mm. Now for the other side. Oh, no. Well, yeah, you can peel them. But that's such a pain in the ass. Just dig in this bitch. La, la, la. Mm -mm. It's so juicy that after every bite, you get some more juice. Ooh. Yep, the toes. They had the best bite. Ew. <laughs> mm. I think I'm going to eat one more. Mm. Then I'm going to smoke something. I'm going to lay down on my couch, which I haven't been on in weeks. Check my DMs, see if I got any bites. You know, the guys that flirt with me, they all have ulterior motives. You so funny, brother. Listen, my, my mama... Love you, and she having a birthday party on it. Nigga, shut up. I thought you wanted to do something. You don't have to add no sugar. You don't have to add do nothing. Mm. And just melt in your mouth. This is a kiwi cordially. Oh, shit. See how you manifested me? You were thinking about me, and here I am. Eating kiwi. Oh, I'm about to lay down. Well, I don't know, because I, Dino, 
These bitches are delicious. I don't know where she got them. Oh, the uh, Reap What You Told clip is probably the post right before this one. Shay is hanging in there. She's going through it. She done lost a lot of people in the last two months and had to deal with a lot of family illness, but she's going to be all right. Only dooms up, now you stop it. Oh, you can Google these and find out what stores you say carry them. Mm. Yeah, I ain't got time to be peeling. Mm. Okay, and I have some breaking news. I can't talk about it because it is being constructed right now. Yes, yeah, please pray for her. Google will look at your location. Okay. So, after much consideration, and after doing some research, I am uh, going to be trying to set up an OnlyFans. Da, 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 da. But wait, hold on. It ain't going to be no busted open type shit. But some of the lingerie photos that I have will be on there. Now I have another photo shoot coming up in New York. And, you know, a couple of foot fetish things. But no titties and no coochie. Sorry. But you'll have to tune in to find out if that's true, right? So, y'all keep asking me for certain things. And the things y'all asking for me are not out of the question. Because everybody know, if I didn't bust it open for Rihanna, I'm not going to bust it open. What is it? Yep, you'll get the information as soon as we're ready. And one of the people I'm remodeling with is one the guy on this calendar back here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's who I'm having my first photo shoot with. I think I'm going to do it with a man. I haven't done one with a man in a while. Let me see. Do I have... Some pictures, I think I do, of my model. <laughs> See, stuff like this will be on my OnlyFans. Wait. Bam, 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 bam. Yep, that's what's under these gowns, ladies and gentlemen. Can you just imagine the Break My Soul video that Beyonce going to drop? Lord have mercy. I'm looking for my model, you guys. Ooh, there's a hot guy, but he's not my model. Did y'all know I had met ASAP Rocky before? Look, here go me and Red Grant and Rihanna, baby daddy. Hey, you little cute thing. Hey, ASAP. Mm. 
Oh, I gotta do the post about my, um, yeah. Tell me that you don't got a man of your thing. Mom is married to a sexy man. Well, no, not really. Not really. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I might have to go to his page. You wanna break my soul? Yeah. Do I sell model four Fenty? Not specifically. Not monthly like before. That is over, darling. I'm trying to find my little model, though. He's very age-appropriate. I'm not squatting on no little young boy anymore. On camera. For y'all. Okay, so let me see. I got a couple pictures of him. This guy. Eustace Collins, the runway assassin on Instagram. The runway assassin, yes. Mm-hmm. Let me see. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. We're going to be in all kind of compromising positions. Me and this one. The Runway Assassin on Instagram. Eustace Collins. Oh, look. This is cold shot here. The bag. That's my model. And give you some African flavor. Because I'm from St. Thomas Virgin Islands, man. Island boy. Island boy. Oh, yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. I heard that girl. Yeah. Okay, I'm just say do that. Yeah, they are yo yo me, honey. I'm going to be laid draped all over that man like a cheap suit with very little on. With some lingerie from Fenty, and he's gonna have some Fenty lingerie too. And then we're gonna be, that'll be part of my OnlyFans to see how I squatted on this man. Yeah, he's a Silver Fox for sure, but not in the squad. Not, not part of the squad. <sighs> Who cares about that? I'm not looking to get married, I'm just looking to do a photo shoot. Oh, DeBerry. Okay, DeBerry loves his photos. Hi, Lucky. Well, no, don't cuss them out first. Go up and ask them nicely first. Say, ooh, it's so, I can hear you so much downstairs. I, you know, I hate to disturb you. I know you got to live your life, but do you mind not walking so hard because it's disturbing me? Then, take your fork with you, though. Talk to him like this. You don't mind not walking quite so hard and dragging your chairs, dude, because it's waking me up. It's keeping me up at night. I can't sleep. Even in the daytime, it's very difficult to concentrate while you're up there doing that. Do one of those. See how that. <laughs> you 
No, he's not. He's not part of that Silver Fox crew. He used to be, but he's not with them no more. All them men is not who they look like. Yeah, that's right, Cali lady. Am I telling the truth? Hmm. Yeah, we are going to look pretty good. I'm excited. Maybe I can call him. Let's see if I, if he'll come on IG with me. I'll call him. I know, Dino. So do I. Mm-mm. It's 8.45 out there. He out in them streets. Where are you? Question mark. Call me back soon. This is why I don't call men. Like men that like try to holler, because nobody tries to holler at me, no way. But I don't call men because, A, if I call you and you don't answer, I'm mad. B, if you call me and I leave you a message and you don't call me back, I'm mad. C, if I call you and you answer the phone and you say, let me call you right back and you don't, I'm mad. So I don't call men. I usually just call back. And that is why, because if that was my man, I'd be like, where the fuck are you? And he wasn't my man, and I still said, where the fuck are you? I don't think I said, where the fuck are you? I didn't. I just said, where are you? Yep, that's what I said. Wonderfully made 2030. That's what I said. So, to thine own self be true, right? Women need to admit it. Shit, if we call you and you don't answer, we're mad. If we call you and you say, I'm going to call you back, you don't, we mad. And if we call you and leave you a message, you don't call it back, we mad. So stop calling, motherfuckers. No matter how bad you want to talk to them, let them call you. Then that way you know that when they call you, they got time. They think about you and shit like that. You know what I figured out? I just figured somebody was talking to me. Because I was like, why do these young folk like to text so goddamn much and not talk on the phone? No, I don't have to be active on Twitter, and I was before. And somebody hacked my Twitter, and I found out who did it, and I let Twitter know. And they didn't do the thing to help me get my Twitter back. So fuck Twitter. You can have it. Um, I found out because you, some of you youngsters were not raised talking on the phone. You were raised with social media and texting, and that's how you think that men and women are supposed to communicate because you really wasn't raised talking on the phone like we was when we talked, you know, we'd be on the phone. If you could sneak a cord that long, be on the phone with a guy till you fall asleep. But are you asleep? No, I'm not asleep. You sleep? No, I'm not asleep. You sleep? I thought I heard you snoring. No, I'm not asleep. Y'all never had that much fun. Yeah, I need to hear your voice. You can text me and tell me all kind of nasty shit you want to do to me, but it's so much more fun if we hear your voice. I'm going to get a little new set tomorrow. Oh, I'm on nail strike, you guys. I'm not getting my long, embellished nails back. Until either Christmas time or until I do my Netflix special, which has now been moved to the first quarter of next year. I think I need them for the holidays because people are going to see me on New Year's Eve in Grand Prairie with Gary Owen on that first night. New Year's Eve Eve, not New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve Eve. And so I think I might need them for that, but I'm just going to get a little set for right now. Right, falling asleep on the phone, okay, Hawk. Yes, Loria. Right. Hang up. No, you hang up first. Right. 
Yeah, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't, they, don't, they weren't raised talking on the phone. They don't know the joy of getting that phone call or waiting for that phone ring. And then, or the agony, as it were. And then they just don't, um, they don't care. So now they just text each other. I know people who don't. Anyway. Call me princess. I'm no, I'm going to get a short set first. Just to whatever. Because I'm not minding, you know, being able to do a couple of other things easier. Like put my vitamins in the thing. But um, I, I'm just not going to go back. And I miss them. But I'm not going to go back big until maybe the holidays. It depends on what my girl talk about. What's up, fam? Running to the pay phone. You know, that's when the pay phone used to ring. Like, you could you could call somebody from pay phone. You could give them the pay phone number. And after you say, I'm going to call you at the pay phone tomorrow at 3.15... And you be waiting for that for all oh, you guys. Y'all don't know nothing about that. Waiting by the motherfucking phone. Parents catch you on the phone late night knowing you how to go to school. Automatic, damn, you're in fucked up trouble. And you might get on phone restriction, which is really painful. Or the old mom pick up the extension. Get off the goddamn phone. Total embarrassment. Okay, mom, I gotta go. I gotta go. Okay. Okay, bye. But these kids wasn't raised talking on the phone, so they don't know what it's all about. I wouldn't touch a pay phone. It's a miracle we all ain't got the motherfucking monkey pop. I wouldn't touch a pay phone now. I don't give a fuck if I just got out of jail. I would ask somebody to make a phone call for me. A pay phone? Oh, my God. Aside from the piss and feces in a phone booth. Oh, no. No. I'm done with that. <sighs> oh, e deuce too. Thank you, honey. Yeah, not now. <laughs> oh, not the long distance. Remember when there was long distance? Oh, fuck. Don't you dare make a... Ooh, and the parents used to check the phone bill like their life depended on it. Oh, fuck. Lock on the phone. <laughs> Take the phone in the parents' room if you got the one. Oh, misery. Yeah, color me bad, too. You're, you're really not supposed to because it's... Other people's phones is nasty. But they'd be like, can you take this picture for me? Can you take this picture for me? Can you take this picture for me? Hideaway phone. Oh, you slick. The collect call. Yes, this is the entire correctional facility where the collect call from. Who well, don't you call my mama and find out on the phone? A collect child. Have you let somebody call that motherfucking phone? Oh. Oh, no. I don't even want to think about. Oh, no. Out of the motherfucking question. You better not let nobody call. You better not accept no a collect. Oh, my God. Just forget it. Forget it. Go and kill yourself. Okay, I'm doing one more Kiwi, goddammit. Woo! A collect call. Shit. Ooh. Well, call waiting. That was a whole different... That was a whole different subject. That came later, 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 later. We were still trying to get over star 69 that you could actually call back somebody. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Talking under the covers. Ho, ho, ho. Talking under the motherfucking covers. Y'all don't know nothing about that. 